I have cat hair on my face. <laughs> Anyways, hello. So I wanted to make a quick intro for this video just because otherwise I feel like it's a little bit disjointed. Basically, if you've seen my vlog that I recently posted, I'll link it up above if you haven't and you wanted to check it out. I had a few hauls in that vlog. I had my fairy loot unboxing for the month. I had my Christmas haul, a special edition owl crate box, and also some books from Barnes and Noble that I got in the mail. Originally, those were all supposed to be in that vlog, but if I had left it in that vlog, that vlog would have been an hour long, and that just didn't seem like fun, and I thought that it would be a more enjoyable experience to just be able to see all of those like hauled bits in one video. A haul mashup a vlog haul mashup, if you will. <laughs> I just separated them out and I wanted to give you a bit of an explanation before you dove in, in case you haven't already seen that video where I did explain that that's what this was gonna be. So I'll leave chapters down below just in case you wanted to skip around or anything like that, but other than that, uh, let's dive in. Okay, so basically, I got the Fairy Loot. I got the Fairy Loot Adult December box in the mail and I wanted to open it up. I have no idea what it's gonna be, but I am excited. So, nice. Ooh, it's Fairy Lore. That is gonna be the theme for the month. I'm not gonna read what it is or else I will spoil myself. And then, ooh, I'm already seeing like lavender sprayed edges. I love it. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Look at this. So it's Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. Charmingly whimsical delight. This is cute. There's little mushrooms and berries. I love that. Those are so cute. Oh, look at that end paper. Look at that dog. Can I pet that dog? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm not like normally for a blonde love interest, but he's kind of cute. He might have rights. Look at her. Oh, I'm into this. Wait, okay. Let's read it. So, <clears throat> Emily Wilde is good at many things. I can't relate. Uh, she is the foremost expert on the study of fairies. She is a genius scholar and a meticulous researcher who is writing the world's first encyclopedia of fairy lore. But Emily Wilde is not good at people. Actually, to that I can relate. <laughs> she prefers the company of her books and her dog, Shadow. Love it. So when she arrives in the hard scrabble village of Hronsvik, Emily has no intention of befriending the gruff townsfolk, nor does she care to spend time with another new arrival, her dashing and insufferably handsome academic rival, Wendell Bamblebee. Wendell Bamblebee, why are you at it again? Anyways, but as Emily gets closer to uncovering the secrets of the Hidden Ones, the most elusive of all fairies, she also finds herself on the trail of another mystery. Who is Wendell Bamblebee? And what does he really want? To find the answer, she'll have to unlock the greatest mystery of all, her own heart. Actually, that's pretty relatable. <laughs> that's actually very relatable. I think this sounds really cool. I'm really into it. I'm excited. A charmingly whimsical delight is exactly how I'd describe it, so I'm very happy. Shout out to Fairy Loot. If you want to check them out, you should sign up for Fairy Loot. I do leave it down in my description box below for anyone wondering, but I've been really enjoying getting the adult boxes and I hope to continue getting them because look how beautiful and look how good. Pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure I got all the things that I got for Christmas. I might have forgotten a couple of things because I've like stored it away. So hi Apollo, you opened the door I just closed. Love it. I have it all like in this area. It's gonna be in no particular order, but the general consensus was that a lot of people did want to see kind of like a quick what I got for Christmas. So that's what this is. I feel like I didn't get like a, like a ton of things, but now looking at it, I'm like, whoa, I got a lot. Let's just do it. First thing, potentially one of the most exciting things for my Secret Santa gift, one of the things he got me was claw clips. I love this style of clip. There's colors, there's like a chocolate brown, a beige and a pink. Very excited about this because I don't know where all mine that looked like this went. Let's talk about the two books that I did get. One was from my friend John who has gotten into reading. I mentioned him briefly because he's the one that actually wanted me to read Recursion. Like I got him to read it and then he read it way before me and now asked me about it. But he got me this which is The Thousand Crimes of Ming Su by Tom Lin. I don't know what it's about but I'm very excited about it. I'm excited that like someone got me a book that I 
don't know about. That's not an everyday occurrence and I love it when it happens. The other secret Santa gift I got was this cat astrology book. I've talked about this in my hauled books, which should be up before this video. Check that out if you want to. But yeah, I've wanted this for a long time. I saw it in like Urban Outfitters years ago and I'm very excited to read all about my cats. Both of them are in Pisces. Like a really cool gift that my mom actually made for me and my boyfriend, but I wanted to show you, are like these resin platter things, like these trays, resin trays, but like look how cool this is. She got into resin making like a couple of months ago and she's like, I'm sorry, it's not that good. It's amazing. Like look at this one. I love this. She made it for the bathroom, but I kind of like how it looks in this room. There's a chance it might stay in this room. I just think it's so pretty. And like she signed it. I love it. Maybe like you don't care who got it. Well, I care. So my boyfriend's family got me this little heat lamp thing, which I've wanted something like this for a little while now, but it's, it's a lamp that you turn on, but you can put a candle under it. And instead of like lighting the flame of the candle, it just melts the wax to still produce the smell, which I think is so neat, especially with cats, you know. I, I'm a little nervous about it because one time I had a cat play with the wax, like melted wax, when I had a wax melter. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But either way, I think it looks cool at the very least. I've already talked about this, but my mom got me organizers for the pantry, which I think we might do tonight. Me and you. Not me and Adam. I'm a bit of a control freak, so I don't... I don't ask for help. She got me two of this, so they're like tall containers for like pasta and things like that, which we have a lot of pasta, so yes. She got me two of this one, which is like smaller sized ones, like kind of more of a variety pack of airtight containers. So I also was really excited about putting cereal in these. I just think it's gonna look very nice. I also have like a whole chips graveyard in the corner of my pantry. I'll check to see if all of them are good first before putting them in here, but like I'm very hyped to like keep my chips fresh longer because like that's the one thing is once you open up chips, like yeah, they're gonna go stale eventually, but if you put them in an airtight container, you know, you get it, you get it. We'll do that tonight. I'll let you see the chaos. I don't know why I said it that way, but the chaos that is my pantry, it's, it's a little much. I don't even know if I should show you, but I will, you know. We'll do the clothes at the end, mostly because it's very far from me right now. Oh, the other thing that my friend that got me this book, he got me like a smartphone lens kit where you can like put like fisheye lenses and things like that on your camera lens. And I've actually always wanted something like this just because, just because, I, I don't even know how else to describe it. I, it's not like I take like a crazy amount of pictures, but I actually am hoping to take more pictures in the year and like get on my game a little bit more, especially with Instagram. Besides the whole like, yeah, it's good for growth and things like that, sure, I'm sure it is, but I actually would love it more as like a log. Like I love when people do like the end of the year Instagram wrap ups where they're like, these are the posts that did the best or like this is my year in pictures and I just like, all I do is take pictures of my cats. And that's not a bad thing because like that is my year, you know, but I also would like to be better about taking pictures at events, doing things, you know, with my friends. So thanks, John. And then, oh, the other secret Santa gift, besides the cat astrology and the claw clips, he got me this, which I'm so, so hyped about. I've wanted one of these for years and just refused to buy it for myself. So as you can tell, it's a cat candle, but when you light it, it melts into like a metal skeleton of a cat. I think it looks so cool. I, they have a few of these, but I, I'm really glad he got me this one. This is gonna be so much fun. I don't like burning things all the time, but that one, I feel like I want it like half melted. Like I want like the, the head gone maybe and like showing the, the ribs and then I'll stop melting it so you can tell what's going on. <laughs> or I'll melt it fully, who knows. My, oh, don't know what just happened to my voice. My boyfriend's grandma, she got me a blanket, which I, I love blankets. You can't go wrong with giving me blankets ever. Blankets and socks. Those are my number two, like my top two gifts that I will always love, no matter what. Like you can get me the ugliest socks and I'm gonna love them and cherish them forever because I like ugly socks actually. Oh, on that note, <laughs> my mom got me some socks. I wanted to put one of these on so bad yesterday, but I didn't. She got me like these ones, which I really like the designs on them and they're really soft and thick. I just, I'm a house sock wearer. There's like five of them. Ah, oh, I'm so excited to wear these. They just feel nice. And I really do like the, the designs and the colors on them. They give me like cabin vibes. You know, if I was a girly that had a lot of money, 
Okay, picture this. Me. Lots of money and I have a cabin. Because I have so much money, I just have a cabin that I don't normally live at, but I go there during the winter on writing retreats because I'm an author in this fantasy, obviously. Uh, so I go to my cabin and I put these socks on and I walk around barefoot, not barefoot, uh, socked foot on my warmed, because I'm rich, obviously, so heated uh, wooden floors. Or not heated, I don't know, but if they were heated, that would be cool too. Otherwise I'll need slippers. But yeah, I'm walking down in these. There you go. Probably wrapped in that blanket too. Another thing my mom actually made for me, I, I'm amazed by my mom. I think that, side note, you guys always say that I'm like a person that does a lot of things. I have a lot of talents, I have a lot of hobbies, I have a lot of things that to do and you're always like, I could never do that. Which by the way, I guess you totally can because like, I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. But I definitely get that from both my parents because my dad is like a DIY, anything like he he'll try anything anything and he's just like a handyman my mom on the other hand she's like a hobbyist like look at those resin things that she made she sews she she does art just for fun and she crocheted beanies for me this one's a little tight but i do <laughs> i love the color because you know me i like black and she's like i messed up a little i'm like Mom, you're incredible. And then this one, this one's so soft. Ah, oh, it's such a vibe. It fits my head perfectly. She made them. I love her. Thanks, mommy. Oh, my friend, he got me bookmarks. He gets me bookmarks like every gift giving kind of situation. And I always appreciate it because I love seeing the kinds that he finds. And look at these. They're like wooden bookmarks, but they have little the paintings on it like cherry blossoms and birds and butterflies I just think they're so pretty they give me very like subtle Japanese vibes just with the painting style I don't know if they are Japanese but I'm just saying they give me Japanese vibes now his girlfriend she I think she got me two things and now I'm like feeling terrible because I cannot remember for the life of me what the second thing was and when it comes to me I'll be so annoyed so if I remember I'll show you later but in the meantime Look at this sweater. Look at it. She got like everyone embroidered sweaters and I just love that she's into embroidered sweaters right now because I have kind of a thing for embroidered sweaters as you guys know with all my like Marvel ones that I bought from Changeable Color. But she's just like finding specific embroidered sweaters. I am obsessed with this. It's so soft. It's like the softest sweater. I love the color and look. It's Gigi in a cup. I, I've i been wearing this nonstop, so if it looks dingy, it's because I probably already got something on it. I'm not good at keeping things clean. So yeah, let's move into like the, the clothes things. My boyfriend's mom actually got us like cold gear things, which is kind of cool, or my boyfriend's family, I don't know. But I got gloves, which I am always in need of good gloves. And I do want to go snowboarding one day. So this is going to be perfect for then. And then like a warm scarf, like one of those like heat scarves and it goes with the headband i've never had one of these and i love all the like snowboard girlies that wear them i don't know if i look as good in it i think my head's like a funny shape it's like small but it's big it's like i have a big forehead but a small head you know i don't know i like it either way i'm gonna keep wearing it because it's like the perfect lazy day headband even when you're not snowboarding Oh, and she got me this sweater, which, or jacket that I've been wearing nonstop around the house. I have one like this, but it's like my outside jacket. It's just been outside too many times. This one's only inside and it's very soft. It's so silky soft, like, and it's crazy warm and it has a hood. I love it. And my, so my mom's boyfriend, he got me, actually me and my mom, we both got like warm leggings. I didn't know if something like this existed. They're like thick and they have fleece on the inside, but they're leggings. I don't know. And it has pockets. I just realized that. I'm really excited. See, everyone is gearing me up. Okay. To one day go snowboard snowboarding and I'm down. Oh, another thing my boyfriend's grandma got me is a calendar or two calendars one's a mini one one's a big one and they're just cats i'm very fond of it this is this is gonna probably go up in the kitchen now for the things my boyfriend got me but it got me a lot of lulu things which lululemon if you didn't know is a very expensive sportswear brand but it's so comfy so soft i uh, he gets it for me like every every gift giving season and every gift giving season i just add to my collection and love it so this one he got me these like I don't know if you can tell, but they're they're joggers, but they're like 
like rainproof material. I don't even know how to describe it. Parachute material. I they're not completely high rise and at first I thought that would bug me but I've worn them since then even though the tag's on and I actually love them. They feel so light, so airy. I should never ever second guess on Lulu, you know? And he got me three pairs of biker shorts. He's been telling me for ages that he thinks that I would like biker shorts a lot and I was always like no 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 biker shorts are not my thing. I haven't stopped wearing these. I haven't stopped wearing these. First and foremost, we have the black ones. These ones are a little bit shorter than the other ones. I, I love these. He got me these red ones, a little bit longer. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I like the tie-dye on it. These are fun. These ones are a little bit different. They have like a drawstring. They're super tight. I can't draw drawstring anything out of this, but I like the sentiments there. It's like, if you lose even more weight, and I'm like, ah. But then he got me these, which, oh, I'm obsessed. They're like gray, burnout, tie-dye. I love this. This and the red ones, these are the same length. They are like, I don't know, two inches above my knee normally. I love these. Love them. And he got me this sweater, which I'm obsessed with. It's such a soft material to touch, like on the outside. On the inside, it's a different material and it's still really nice, but like, I'm so jealous of anyone that gets to touch me. Like, <laughs> That sounds weird, but like anyone that hugs me, like I went to go see his sisters the other day and she gave me a hug and she goes, this is so soft. And she was just like rubbing up and down. I was like, I know, <laughs> but it's just a, it's like a mock neck. Well, it's not, it's not, it's a turtleneck really. But like, it has such a slouchy, like comfy fit. It like tightens up on the arms. <sighs> he was going back and forth on the color, but the color looks really good on me. I didn't think... I should have known mauve might look good on me because it looks really good on my mom. And her skin color is darker than mine, but we have like a similar undertone as parents and children sometimes do, I guess. But yeah, I, I love this. He was like, I can get it for you in black. I was like, I kind of kind of like this color now. So <laughs> maybe not everything I own has to be black. His family also got me a stocking. So like they, they always do like fun stockings at their house where they like fill it up with Christmas candies, like specifically those candy cane things filled with candy. So like M&Ms was in mine. What was it? It was M&Ms, those like Krabby Patties, like the SpongeBob Krabby Patties, and then like a lollipop of SpongeBob Krabby Patties and then one filled with kisses and then just like some random chocolates like sprinkled inside and then like a giant Grinch kiss. I know I'm describing it all and maybe if you're not a visual person like I'm I sometimes need a visual aid you know and one of those like kinder eggs but like with a spongebob prize inside I already ate that that was delicious and there was also fuzzy socks in it there was two pairs I wore the other ones already I don't want to show you my dirty socks you know but they have like grippies on the bottom I've worn these ones too but it was only for like an hour so <laughs> but yeah so fuzzy socks love them his sister actually got me I should say his family because I'm really not sure whenever I, mean, I know that they all got me like separate for the most part things but like it's his family but they got me like a frosted snowball shower gel shower cream not shower cream body cream duo I'm really excited about this something about it though is really hard for me to smell like coconut's been really good for me like I can smell coconut very well and I like the smell of coconut a lot thank goodness but I don't know why, let's try it actually, because I haven't put it on yet, so maybe that's what it needs. You know my sniffer. It's still so broken in so many ways. There's a lot of things that I smell totally incorrectly. Some things I don't smell at all. Like, <laughs> this is a very specific one, which I don't know if a lot of people will know what it smells like, but the smell of an expanded battery. Let me explain it to you. So like when a battery like in your phone or something swells and expands, like when it's going bad, it releases the smell and it kind of smells like nail polish remover, supposedly. I can't smell it. And when I do smell it, it smells sweet. <laughs> so yeah, but this actually, now that it's on, mm, it's giving like a burnt sugar coconut smell, which I actually really like. I like that a lot. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to smell like. But that's what I'm smelling. Hey, sugar crystals. Hey, maybe my sniffer's on the mend. And then last thing to show you. I don't even know if I want to open this all the way up, but it's basically another addition to a tea set that my, like, a family friend, she was married to a British man, and, like, they always go to England, and I had mentioned when I was first moving into the house that, like, one day I want to get, like, a fancy tea set, and she'd gone to England and bought me, like, a teapot and, like, a little tea cup and plate set. It, it's beautiful. It's downstairs. And then for my birthday, they actually gave me another piece in the set, and it was, like, the, the tear 
things like if you have like a tea party you can put your little pastries on that tier plate thing and it's it matches the set and then for Christmas they got me another piece of the set I was like guys I'm so excited but like I don't even know I, I need to have a tea party is basically what's happening Look how beautiful. I don't know, I really like it. I love the way that the turquoise is and I love the like classic like British rose look to it. I just, I like that it's like the classic thing that you would imagine if you thought of a British tea party. I just, I love it. And this is so cool, which reminds me, I actually still have to text her thank you because I'm the worst at that. But yeah, so that is an addition to like the rest of the tea set that I have. So one day we should just have a tea party, like me and you maybe. We'll talk about books and have a tea party. How how fun does that sound? <laughs> uh, and then random things that like I wasn't gonna grab to bring up. But my mom got us like chocolate macadamia nut chocolates, like the Hawaiian ones. Mm. And then there was like this like whole tier thing of nuts and like dried fruits. I, there was a lot of like food-ish items that we got as well, but I figured we'll keep it to this. I'm really grateful. I mean, this was a fun Christmas. It's kind of like a cool situation when you grow up and you make enough money to start doing both. Like you're the gift giver and the gift receiver and like your gift giving almost evens out to like the gift receiving. I like that feeling. Now, on a similar but different note, because it's not, it's not Christmas gifts, but I did get a couple packages in the mail that I really want to open with you guys. First one's this ginormous box, which looks herded, but it's fine, because I know what it is. There's three books in here. For the 50% off hardcover sale, they were able to order some books for me. I think I mentioned that. Shout out to Barnes & Noble, because that was so cool to find out. But... The first one, I'm so glad to finally have a copy of this. Iron Gold by Pierce Brown, so freaking happy. And then I also got The Burning God by R.F. Kong. I only have the ARC version of this, so I'm really happy to have like a final copy of it before reading it. And lastly, this one I'm very excited about. I have had this on my like wish list for a couple of years now, and I don't remember if like, I think maybe it was, Potentially it was indie published first, but for whatever reason when I first added it, added it to my list the hardcover was super expensive or didn't exist and I only wanted a paperback. For whatever reason I had a paperback only on my wish list. But then the new book came out and then this one has a hardcover. Might have always had a hardcover. I could be totally wrong, but I'm very happy to have the hardcover now. So those. And then, this is very exciting actually. My camera battery's about to die too, so hopefully it lasts long enough. I have an owl crate package. I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna get this, but I'm so glad they sent it to me. It's the Strange the Dreamer deluxe, or not deluxe, but like special edition Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmare books that owl crate created. So it comes with two wood marks and then the back of the strange one says inside a mist inside a dream a young man and woman were remade and then it, on the back of this one it says the way he looked at her she felt like some kind of miracle i wanted to zoom in for this look at these this is strange the dreamer and this one's muse of nightmares like look at them side by side they're so beautiful the quotes on the back uh, so for Strange it says, I think you're a fairy tale, I think you're magical and brave and exquisite, and I hope you'll let me be in your story. For Muse it says, There's a there comes a certain point with a hope or a dream when you either give it up or give up everything else. And then they have the sprayed edges, which I love the shade of blue they chose. Kind of goes with my bookshelves. Actually, yeah, pretty close. And then look at them naked though. Uh, we'll, we'll look at the best jacket in a moment, but naked though. This one's strange. He might have left his books behind, but he carried all his stories with him. And like the end papers. And then Muse also has the same end papers, just flipped because it's the dark blue instead. <gasps> Look, it's her, it's Sarai. And it says new dreams sprout up when old ones come true like seedlings in a forest. Laszlo and Sarai. Look how beautiful. Oh, I love these. And then the dust jackets, there's Sarai and all her siblings on Muse. Oh, the sunset, the sunset colors. And then for Strange, it's him and like his, his band of friends that go to visit. Yeah. Oh, these are so beautiful. Thank you so much to Owlcrate for sending them to me. I'm 
so excited to set these up on my shelves. I do like this, the copies I have. I have like the UK editions, which I know nothing to, to sniff your nose at or whatever that saying is, but these, oh, I love them. So yeah, that, that was a lot of like things to show you guys in one go. Just to make this seem like one total video, I figured you would want me back. <laughs> you would want me back. I don't think you care. I would want me back for an outro just to make it feel like one whole video instead of just like a uh, leftovers video from from the last vlog. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this was still fun to watch. Let me know what other kinds of videos you want to see from me. I always want to hear your opinions on that and let me know if you like seeing random hauls like in this one. Other than that though, if you do want to leave anything in the comments below, let's leave a like a rainbow emoji. There was, ooh, story time, really, really fast. There was seven or more rainbows on my way to work yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we've been getting a lot of rain in Vegas and then on my drive there, I just noticed this like giant rainbow. Like it was a thick one, not just like those tiny little thin ones. And it was following me the entire way to work and then like halfway towards work, it started raining while the sun was out and then there was just like seven. <laughs> It was amazing. So in honor of those rainbows, please leave a rainbow emoji if you would like to. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day, cool new year, and you're having a good old time. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.